Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Scott McGilvery. How are you? I'm terrific. And yourself? I'm having a wonderful life, and my day just got better having an opportunity to speak with you about the survey of Owners.com. Can you reveal some of the sentiments around, you know, the stress and, and, and of, of buying a home? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this, uh, this recent survey from Owners.com definitely reveals a few interesting things um, and a few, you know, things that really just confirmed what we knew was a trend. Um, the scariest being the fact that, you know, the home buying and selling process is one of the most stressful things that people will ever do. Um, that's, that it is becoming more stressful, which is, which is what's... Uh, what's unfortunate because it doesn't have to be. Um, you know, we know home prices are going up. We know that there's low inventory and for sure that's going to put some pressure on home buyers. Uh, but for anyone who's selling, that's great news because that means you can get more money for your property. Um, but the reason why I say it is that it doesn't have to be because there's thing, there are things you can do to be better prepared. Um, and even more interesting, the trend in home buying and selling, the process of home buying and selling, is becoming more streamlined and more efficient. So the good news is, um, even though you know buying and selling sounds like a stressful event, there's actually ways to make more money and save more money doing it. Uh, and I'm going to reveal that uh, in just a moment. Well, Scott, you know, you're the star of HGTVs. We watch you on income property, so we know that you you are steeped in this process. So tell us about the home buyers and their budget. They're going over their budget to buy the dream home that they want. I know. It's hard. It's hard when you're making an emotional purchase on a piece of real estate. It's hard not to surrender to, to the property that you love, even if you can't afford it. But it's you have to have some discipline, you know. And when I talk about being prepared, that's what removes the stress. Because there's nothing worse than actually purchasing a property that you're excited uh, about and then realizing you can't afford it. That is super stressful. So the first thing I tell people is, unfortunately, we don't have a system, you know, we don't have a, a, an education system that teaches you a lot about the home buying process and, and how to be a homeowner and what a mortgage is. So you have to do the work yourself. You have to start going online, using a site like owners.com to see what people are listing properties for, what properties are selling for, how long they're staying on the market, reading all of the you know, tips and information and checklists and really getting educated uh, is the first thing, uh, first step in order to remove some of the stress from the scenario. Because the more you know, um, the less susceptible you are to being taken advantage of. Well, what about, it, it's stressful, I'm sure it's stressful when they're handling also, that on top of that, they, they're going to handle the real estate purchase themselves. Isn't that a, a additional stress? Well, there's, there's different ways of engaging a real estate transaction. You know, traditionally, it's been through an agent of some sort, um, which adds, typically, although relieves some of the work, it can add financial stress because the cost, uh, the, the traditional cost of, of doing transactions in real estate has been very expensive, anywhere up to 5% commissions. Um, whereas today, this is the good news I was telling you, uh, is that the, the new trend is to use an online brokerage like 
owners.com where you have flexible pricing, meaning you can save tens of thousands of dollars on those commission rates, especially since most people are doing some of the work themselves anyway. We know that 85% of uh, real estate enthusiasts are doing work online and they're willing to do a transaction through an online portal uh, if they understood or knew more about it. We know that people who are purchasing and selling real estate are spending one to three hours a day online. So it, the data is there. We know that people are looking online, they're doing their research, and they're willing to engage. Uh, and so now the last sort of piece of the puzzle is to actually follow through, to, to engage. Uh, you know, if you're going to sell your property, try listing it through owners.com where you get the support of a brokerage but you don't have those high high fees and what a lot of people don't know which is probably even more interesting and even newer is that if you're a buyer there's a buyer's rebate for going through these portals as well so you can actually get a 1.5 percent rebate on the purchase price if you're the type of person who's spending time online doing this, and that's offered through owners.com, and a lot of people don't even know that. So you can imagine for every $100,000, you're getting $1,500 back. That's pretty awesome. What a great insider tip, Scott. Scott, I really appreciate that. And you want my uh, audience to go, because I'm looking at my Facebook post. I'm mm -hmm. buying a home. I'm looking to buy a home. I'm willing to bid over, <laughs> over what's being offered. So they do want to be educated. And you would send them where once again? I'd send them to owners.com. If you're ready or even thinking about doing a real estate transaction, start to understand how that works. Because, you know, my mission is really to help anyone in the real estate field when it comes to real estate, it's always an investment as far as I'm concerned. So if I've got a way to save you money or make you money, it's my, it's my duty to let you know how that works. So you can go through owners.com. Uh, you can also follow me on social media and I'm always giving out tips and real estate advice as well. I think that's a great tip for us, Scott McVie. Let, mm -hmm. McGilvy, let me ask you, uh, HGTV, income property, anything new we need to look for? We got a new show. We're filming. We're in production right now. We're filming a new show. Um, I'm excited about it. Uh, Income Property. We got season 11 of Income Property running, and, uh, and our new show will be coming out this year. I can't tell you too much about it, but it is uh, it is very interesting and exciting new format. Well, you're interesting and exciting, and we will be there watching. Thank you so much for being my guest on the Thank Elder Beatty Show in Dallas, Texas. We'll talk to you soon.